हेलो गाइस दिस इज अगेन विभोर शुक्ला वन ऑफ माय सब्सक्राइबर हैज मेल मी टू डिस्कस मूविंग लोड जनरेशन ऑन ए ब्रिज डेक दैट इज वन ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक और इम्पॉर्टेंट डिस्कशन इन स्टेट प्रो वे टाइम वेन द वहीकल मूव्स ऑन ए ब्रिज वॉट इज द इफेक्ट ऑन दैट पर्टिकुलर ब्रिज यू कैन सी दैट इन दिनिमेशन ऑल्सो एट द लास्ट सो वी विल डिस्कस टू द will take as floor that is moving load generation on a simple bridge deck unit will be meter and kilo newton first of all the first part is to create the model then the loading and then the analysis so i will go to the edit and spacing i will put as 0.5 and increase the value here and then press okay now i will select all this go to the geometry transition repeat in z direction number of steps will be 1 2 3 4 and 5 as per my model and the spacing i will provide as 9 in the link step and check the dimensions the dimensions are okay now i will go to the general material create new with my name as v my bore yang small as i will provide provide the values yang model as 2.1 e plus 008 poison ratio is 0.3 and the density value will be 76.977 click okay i'll add this property select all the members select and select members the property named as you were assigned to all the members now we like will go to the general property section database i will use british code ub shape okay 305 165 40 i will take single section from table I'll add a section. Click assign to view. Now go to the uh, 3D view. Moving load generation on simple deck. This is the 3D view. Simple bridge deck. now you have to apply the support so we will take a spin support at these nodes and this particular nodes so i will go to the general support create 
pinned here and then close go to the top view press control select these nodes in go to the asymmetric view assign to selected nodes the support also applied now the next step is to apply the load go to the load and definition definition vehicle definition click on add vehicle width will be 3 load I'm taking as 90 kilo Newton and the distance will be 3 meter load now 45 so distance will also reduce by uh, here to 1, 1.5 1.5 meter click on add close this Now we'll go to the load case detail. Loading type none. Applied a self weight here. Self weight will be assigned to you to all the members. Select a load case two. That will be of load generation. Number of loads to be generated on this particular model. Simply will be 10. And click on add close. Now the generate load you have to create. Initial position of a load that is the starting point. I'm taking as 2.25 meter. Range will be none. Y and Z values we are taking zero. And the increment will be in Z this particular direction if you see as 3 meter click on add then close you can see the initial position on the load is at 2.25 meter this is different view you can see is the moving load generation on a simple deck we are taking the generate load at a distance of 2.25 meter that is this now I will go to the analysis print load data click on add then close now I will go to the post print option maximum force I have to print maximum force click on and then close zero and zero warning go to the view output file maximum force we have printed this is the report you can see now I will go to the post processing mode select all the loads the summary for the reactions summary highlight the maximum values the split means is a beam and their graphs You go to the animation deflection you will see now I will go to the the loads the moving load shear force bending moment diagram you can see now I will now you will see the moving load you can see these moving loads moving up to Z direction 
you see the green color show the moving load and the shear force bending moment updated automatically start from this and you see the changes This is how the moving load generation is done on a bridge deck, simple bridge deck in StatPro VATI. Thank you very much and stay tuned with more upcoming video tutorials.